with y'all. Showing y'all the trailblazer, man. Unfortunately, she's broke. Oh, this is my other little toy, man. I haven't had it that long. I think I had the trailblazer about. It's a little windy out here, so I apologize, but yeah, it's a beautiful truck, man, but got some bad news. Got some really, really bad news, and uh, this comes after, I just got off work, so I got my headset on. This comes after I got the Camaro at the shop, so uh, Inferno at the shop, she doing good. Let me show y'all something. This is like every, I say every four days, $60. $60 fill off. $60. Maybe five. I'm a, I might be over exaggerating, but yeah, man. It's a beautiful truck. Nice. I don't got the navigation and all that stuff. I got a little ugly sunroof, but. I got the nice little leather suede inserts. These for the missus. Hopefully, hopefully she don't watch this before I give them to her. But she love M and M's. I got the Mickey Thompsons in the back. Uh, shout out to Stunner Reese, man. We went out to uh, Detroit for Autorama, man. I'm telling you, I, I had some drags on. I had some drags on, and I pretty much I regret it. Let me tell y'all a reason why. It was like 30 degrees out. No, it was, it was a little bit better than that. About 47, I would say the highest. And then when we got out to like Detroit, man, it started getting like colder. It started getting real, real cold, man. I started seeing snow on the ground. I had my radios on. It was bad. It was really, really bad. But I made it. I couldn't go around curves as fast as I want to because the wall on them radios are real soft. But Firestone messed me up. They messed around. I got there at like 7.45. They opened up at 8. I was having to swap my tires. They was like, none of our techs are here. I'm like, how do nobody show up on time for work? Like, nobody showed up on time for work. Not just one person. I just say fire the whole crew. But let me tell y'all about the Trailblazer real quick so I don't get off topic. So, let me take this off. Um, This is a, uh, I love this Trailblazer. Um. When I first got it, it was detuned. Uh, it was real sluggish, like real, real sluggish. It has like probably 120. Let me get all the exact mileage so I don't, I don't, I don't chop and screw it. You know. Let me turn this around, y'all. So 227 miles. So I have. So I'm trying to. I'm, I'm still learning how to work this truck. I have 123,991 miles on it, all right? And no, the check engine light not on. But uh, when I first got the truck, I think I had like 119,000 miles on it, 118,000, somewhere around there. But when I first got the truck, it was detuned, all right? So when I stepped on it, it was real sluggish. Uh, it didn't respond the way I wanted it to. And I knew it had more power than that because it, had, it got an LS under here. So I was like, something gotta be wrong. So I took it over to Chevy. Uh, they looked at it. They was like, uh, yeah, some somebody got a tune on here. They was like, we can change it back to factory. They was like, but they got a detune, probably like, uh, what was it, like 70 horsepower, 70 to 100 horsepower. So this was running like a Prius, like pretty much. And I was like, man, that's that's bad. So I had Chevy like clean everything out, like throttle body, excuse me. Uh, th throttle body. Uh, I had them change. It's all wheel drive, by the way. I had a transfer case, dumped the fluids out, uh, radiator flush, the whole nine, you know. And I had them put it back to factory settings, so it was it was running back to the way I expected it to run, right? So, long story short, I was like, I could get more power out of this truck. So I had them switch the tune on the truck. When I was getting, I came from an oil change and I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go get everything taken care of. Put it back to horsepower that I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Inferno was in the garage. I haven't even broken her down yet. 
and this happened. All right. So what's up, MC? So this happened. You know what I'm saying? So when I put it back to factory, factory, you know what I'm saying? I got like a lot of reactions out of the truck. One first thing was it was fast as hell. I love it. Second thing is this is what I get after you put it back to factory. I don't even want to show y'all right now, man. Y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta give me something to make y'all want to show y'all what happened. You know what I'm saying? But she broke. I'm just telling you, she broke. It's embarrassing. She broke. All right. I'm at the gas station. I can get home. I don't need no ride. I don't need nobody to call AAA. I don't need nobody to call uh, Uber for me. You know, I'm able to get to the crib. But she has limitations now. All right. So I'm over here at the petrol. I just got off work. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all get one more look at it before I go in there and show y'all the bad news. One more look, one more look. All right, let me flip, flip it around. So, it's a beautiful truck, man. It's a little dirty right now. So, what's going on, man? It's a little dirty. So, I want to change these. I seen a trailblazer come down a block. Man, I got like a lot of, a lot of wear and tear from salt corrosion and stuff like that i seen one coming down the block the other day he had like 22 inch chrome ones just like that it was replicas but it was gorgeous man but yo yeah that's beautiful man mc i gotta link up with you you got all the good the goods But we seven minutes in, man. I think I should, uh, you got the 5.3 model? Okay. So, I, we seven minutes in. I think it's time for me to show y'all the reason she's broke. All right. Ugh. Man, MC, you already, <laughs> MC, you already know what it's going to be when I, when, I, when I get ready to start it up. You already know what it is. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. I'm sorry. Forgot one thing, man. Just gotta show y'all the Mickeys. So the guy I got them from, he had like a graffiti type style, like you flick green paint on them. But uh, these are the Mickey ET Streets SSs. Still got a lot of meat on meat on them. Y'all wouldn't even believe how much I got these for rims and tires. Y'all wouldn't even believe if I told y'all. Y'all wouldn't even believe me. 500. 500. That's how much I got them for. So, let me show y'all, man. MC, you already know what it is. You already know what the problem is. Now, MC, here we go. You gonna tell me off the bat. Watch this. Mm. 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 Watch this. If I don't give a gas, she gonna die out. And so you know what the issue is. You know what the issue is, man. You already know, but yep. She has to go to surgery, y'all. She gotta go to surgery. So, that's the update on the Trailblazer. Inferno went home. Inferno at home. Mighty pretty too. Now, hold on. I'm pretty sure you just told me. Wait. <laughs> Fuel pump. Yep. You already know what the issue is, man. You already know what the issue is. So me, I want to go with an aftermarket fuel pump because I'm actually planning on pushing some power out of this thing, and uh, I want to do. I want to do possibly like a stage three or stage four cam, uh, change out the valve springs, um, the rockers, the whole nine of the rides, all that stuff, oil pump, all that. So um, I want to go with an aftermarket one, one that's stronger. So I was asking my mechanic, was it oh, was it kind of cool for me to put like a um, a fuel pump in here from like a ZL1 or SS Camaro or something like that. Something that's more durable. But this one, 
I put a tune on here, man, and I just started yamming on it. But I'm pretty sure it, it was already going bad before I got the truck. But I didn't know because it was detuned. So for the price that I got this truck, man, it's, it's a steal. So I couldn't even beat it. But this is an update on my Trailblazer. MC and told y'all through the comments what it is. So um, I'm having I'm gonna have some more, uh, some more uh, content on my uh, Camaro. Uh, actually, I bought some Sumitomos or Sumitomos. However you pronounce those tires, all I know is I hate those tires. I bought them. Me and Stunner, uh, Ace Rolling. Shout out to Stun. Shout out to Stunner, Ace Rolling, uh, Dave Diesel, uh, Hellcat Jones, my boy 5.0 Stain Gang. Uh, catfish, man. We all was we all rolled out to uh, Detroit last time, or what? No, it was Columbus, Ohio. We went out to go meet with Will, Will Motivation for that uh, meet and greet. And uh, shout out to Mouth of Fame also. Uh, we went out there. I had to buy some tires because mine was bought, my my pearlies was bought. So I bought some uh, some uh, MCs. No, 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 no MCs. Uh, uh, Sumis. Man, those tires are horrible. Like, yeah, I flush your fuel system. All that. I'm talking about anything you could possibly name that Chevy has on the list to get done as far as maintenance, I did it. Like, everything. And once, everything was cool. I was, it only happens when I fuel up, though. When I put fuel in it, it uh, it starts, it sputters just like that. But, um, that, that it sucks because I was like, man, I didn't think I was going to be doing anything major to this vehicle until, like, next year probably i was gonna just this, this is the family car so it's like i was just thinking i was gonna get away with it but i'm not getting away with it not at all so whatever you know but one thing i tell y'all is i keep it on full i keep it on full man so i don't have to go through that problem of going to the gas station and sitting there like yeah i keep it on full man 24 7 but um yeah, I will have some more videos of uh, the Camaro. The Camaro actually sounds pretty good. Next time I probably put some more videos up is when I get my long tools put on Cooks and Dino it again to tune it a little bit more. And uh, Supercharger coming soon. But that's pretty much it, man. Um, I love them too, man. I love them too. This, this SS is a beautiful truck man like i said like you can't go wrong you can't gotta look around because you know they be up here calling police on people but you can't go wrong man that sound it just sound good it's a really beautiful truck it responds it responds well with the fuel pump going out it responds very well like there is no issue with the lack of power but it's going out so it has to be changed so um yeah uh, if I was closer to the house, I would have kept y'all on live. I'm like probably 10, 15 minutes from the house. I would have kept y'all on live and let y'all see Inferno started up, stuff like that. But say that for a different time. But uh, I'm out. Follow SS Inferno. Subscribe. Uh, follow my guy Stunner Reese, uh, Dave Diesel, Hellcat Jones, Beats and Fast Cars. That's his. Uh, Dave Diesel Productions. Y'all can look him up. And uh, Gregory Jeffrey Jr. is catfish. I might be chopping that up, but follow Ace Rolling also, man. Subscribe to their channels. Check them out. That's a whole little squad. Uh, I'm out.